I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm using set lines for uh, these snapping turtles. Um, nets are legal here in Illinois. Some states you can, uh, but here in Illinois, hooking lines the only way you can uh, catch a turtle and shoot him with a bow, gig him, what have you. But that's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to catch him uh, on baited hooks. Um, not a lot involved equipment involved heavy-duty uh, nylon string got a size 5 hooks here make sure these things are sharp they're not sharp uh, from the factory sharpen them yourself but that's what I'm using 5 out hook as far as bait goes what I'm using this time is a small deer brisket. I was cleaning out the freezer and found some I was going to corn about six years ago. It makes a good bait. You can also use a chicken liver, um, deer liver. Once you start catching turtles, using turtle liver, beef liver, that's a good one. It floats to the top. A lot of turtles search for the food on top of the surface. Uh, fish heads make another good bait. You know, they're, uh, trolls are not picky eaters, they'll just about eat anything you put in front of them. And they feed just about all day long. It's not uncommon to go to a pond and see a snapping turtle's head above the water. They are uh, always on the prowl, always on the move. What I'm asked a lot is, what do I look for in setting turtle lines? I'm not real picky about what I'm looking for. There's two things I don't want. I don't want a pretty manicured pond. I'm sure there's probably going to be turtles in it, but a pond like this one, mossy, stumps, what have you, that just looks turtley to me. This is where I'd rather be than a pretty blue manicured pond with a water fountain coming out of it. No offense to manicured farm pond people. It's just not a good place to catch turtles. Another thing I want to avoid is debris in the water. I don't want to stump or limbs or what have you that the turtles get wrapped, up, wrapped around on and drown. You got to be able to come up to the air to breathe once they're caught. So I try to avoid pretty manicured ponds with fountains and stumps and logs that the turtles could uh, get wrapped up on and drown. I don't want to come back and find a dead turtle. That, that's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to catch them to eat, not to drown them. I'll uh, show you uh, my techniques here. It's real simple. String off. No fancy knots here. You want a tree, I'll give, but you don't want a dead tree. You don't want something that the turtle's gonna break and drag off. Length of line doesn't really matter. I caught a turtle on this one earlier. Um, I don't know, I've probably got 10 yards of line left still, 15. You know, throw it out however far you want. It don't matter. Close to the bank, far out. You'll still uh, catch turtles, it don't matter. They'll come and eat it. You say I caught a uh, turtle on this one earlier. It's been wrapped here. They, all like catching a coon, they just tear everything up. I've got a, a lot of string left here. Back through the hole. Back through the hole again. A turtle will not get off of that. And don't worry about him breaking your line. You're probably not going to break it. You might bite through it, but that don't happen. Only time a turtle would break your line if it's just rotted. You know, there's no really no fancy way to put it on either. Put your bait on. And just 
give her a toss. I mean, okay, it don't matter where it goes. Just give her a toss out there. I've had tur I've caught turtles within 10 minutes. Set, set one, walk across the pond, setting another one, look over, mine's taunt with a turtle on it. You say, her. Now, I don't look like it's out very far, it's not. Maybe uh, five yards, 15 feet. Hopefully I'll have a turtle tomorrow, it should. Call one here today. I usually uh, catch four or five turtles out of this pond every year. Catch more if I wanted to. All right, I set out uh, two lines in this pool, or uh, this pond, baited with a stake. Yeah, yeah. We got one turtle. I was afraid. I was afraid uh, the turtle latched onto both hooks. They've done that before, but I do have one over here. I uh, just caught a glimpse of his tail. Get him in and, well, let me see what we've got here. Got a stick. Uh, but I do have, I do have one right over here. We'll get him pulled in. Hopefully it's a big one. Not a small one, what I can tell. Not a giant, but it'll work. Tell you what, I've had a lot of a uh, use out of buck knives this year. Turtles, laying fish, field dressing deer. Even took out a wild hog in Tennessee with one. Get him out here in the water tank. Get all these rebated. <laughs> 